Oh, yes! <laughs> Alright. Just technical issues with the Elgato. It's fine. Um, welcome to the stream. Hello. If you're watching later on YouTube, thanks for clicking. It's time to do more Wario. Uh, genuinely, I don't remember what I was doing. Uh, water stages, I believe. I'll get the feel. Okay, I've done the stage. But I believe there's new aspects to it. The big bridge. Okay, see now, this has opened up more. Wait, really? Fish is that stronger than mine. Dude. Once you're in it, you're kind of stuck. Why? That's some heavy knockback. Okay. Damn, it's okay, that's not too bad. But this is just... Yeah. <laughs> 
What a stage. Everything knocks you back. Oh, alright. I guess I've got no choice. Everything knocks you back. The fish. The two kinds of fish. The bear. <laughs> Everything. Alright. That's something. crayon thing. Okay, I guess let's go there. Oh, it didn't do anything. Unless it means here. Let's see. Maybe it needs multiple. There are some that need multiple. But this seems the same. segment somewhere in the stage now that I think about it. Otherwise, I don't see anything new. if there's anything else down this passage. I need to let that get me.
Oh, it's just angry. Oh, this just ends back here. Alright, well, yeah, I don't know. I don't think there's anything else to do on this stage. Okay, let's just go forward. swim in this? No. Okay, it's... It's much like the old water stuff. I mean, I guess it, it could be worse. I would assume because I have the swimming power, it's fine. Slamming causes explosion. Trolley of power I don't have. What? Need to get over that. Oops. There's probably like a high ground version or something. idea how I'm supposed to get across this now. Maybe it turns into a roll or something? Hang on. So you can't... I thought maybe you could go in the door that way. No. This is problematic. The 
this just leads here. How am I going to get in there? Sort of, I've kind of hit a dead end. Let's just keep trying until something happens. One of these has to result in an end. finishing the stage. There's gotta be something to this. Turns into a roll. Okay. <laughs> What's this gonna do? start from the first one. So now the peaceful village has snakes. Shit, the zombies down. <laughs> expecting, honestly. Still doesn't let me get up here. Oh, wait, it's a bus. Okay. Red key. Okay, where's red chest? Hmm. 
I'm assuming it's... I just gotta follow this path along. Visibility tonic. That's not gonna achieve though. Do I actually need it? Yeah, I do. I see, I see the security gate up ahead. It's not as easy as I thought it would be. Go. Okay, there we go. What? Probably like a hidden block somewhere. No, what is what? What is this? Has to be a hidden block or something here. Yeah. There we go. Oh, but it's green. I don't have green. That was a waste of time. Hey, Nick, what's up? Please tell me the keys here. Oh no, not these things. Okay, well, that's kind of straightforward. I'm still gonna re enter the stage to figure out where red is. Destroyed. Hang on. Give me off. A glass? 
wine glass. I think I can only get red during night by the looks of it. Oh no. Yeah, okay, daytime's fine too. No! Playing Gunfire Reborn, I've heard of that. It's the one that's fun as a group. I mean, you can play it by yourself, but it's like, best played in a group. Safe, I'll stay here. Give donut, please. Hey. Oh, my God. See what I have to do. That's annoying. I have to lift it up. Yeah, and then do it again. Just in case I needed it again. No, I think that's fine. Wait, is that all the chests for this stage? No, blue's missing. What's blue? It's fine. I can get hit by that, it'll be okay. I 
don't think I can do this yet. Maybe. Seems like a power I don't have. I can't even reach this. Alright, then leave it for now. to the boss, which I've already done. What is that door? Somewhere in the stage of the snake, it's probably through the first door then. confused about what that's supposed to be. Oh. Should have guessed. See snack. putting stuff to make you run off the edge. It's doing it a lot more than Warrior Land 2 did.
Oh, no, right, it's golf. <laughs> Crap. Uh, okay, well, at least I have coins. It's fine. Oh, what do you mean? It bounced back. Alright, well, that's it. It's over, isn't it? It's... You can make one mistake. I don't think... I don't think you can even make one on this one, like... I think this is... this is cool, it's just... I wish I could just play the same course over and over again and get good at it. Instead of just relying on just random. Really, just waiting for a good course. Okay, that's all set now. More. I don't even know what this area is supposed to be. It's just. It looks like rock, but there's these weird worm like creatures coming out of it. Oh, shit. Okay. Alright, find the green key. Yeah, that didn't work. Actually swim. Alright, cool, we're done then. tell what that is. It's not quite a crown. I don't know. The stuff warrior collects his treasure is like questionable at best. This has one. Okay. Particularly in Shaker, he collects stuff like a dummy for babies. Okay, so I only have red. Like, what's the point in that? Oh my god, <laughs> I 
I supposed to get past that? Am I supposed to get past that? Is that... No, fuck off. There's no way I'm supposed to get past that. That seems like way too tight of a window to get past. Oh, okay. Fuck me then. Nineteen nineties difficulty. I don't have the key. Well, I guess this is self contained, so that's nice. So I'll just do that. Dick! Uh oh. <laughs> this game and it's just its mechanics to send you down. Fucking minefield. Everything is designed to just send you backwards. Don't even move and it starts doing that shit. Okay. Ah, oh, so annoying. <laughs> this feels like what they did to the Japanese Mario one. That's like, all right, cool. The first game was great, but people want a harder version of the game. They do the exact same thing, but then everything is like a nightmare. The previous game, you would have these things happen to you and it would be like, Oh, this, you're doing it to get through the stage. This, a lot of them are just here to fuck you over and send you backwards. Keep trying, I'll get it eventually. to get it twice. Okay. There we go. 
Okay, now I just have to get this thing again. And I'm good. There's no room for him. That first one's brutal. Oh, you just have to get through it and hope it doesn't touch him. like a treasure. Oh, I have the wand in the book now. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> it's an ice level. Okay. Guess, guess we're doing the ice level, huh? Do I need to purposely... No, okay. I thought maybe that would break that. Oh no, yeah, this looks as confusing as it is. Don't you dare. <laughs> Wait, ah, no. This is bad, isn't it? Yeah. Crap. Okay, it's not too bad. It's not all the way back. What? No! <laughs> Alright, now it's all the way back. It landed on its head. have to take them out. Alright, there we go. Power up, you say? I mean, okay. I'm sure that has a lot of use. Point out this stage, I think, specifically. Oh. Oops. 
No. This has already been through here. I think where this would be required. It was probably up the bean store. I thought there was something to stand on. Just go for the long jump. system is neat, but it's like... They couldn't come up with new power-ups instead of just removing Wario's default abilities from Wario Land 2. Good. I don't think this resolves anything. Where is... Why did it highlight the stage? There's gotta be a reason. Oh, 
It almost looks like the camera wants me to go further down or across. But yeah, I don't see anything new. There's gotta be a reason to point it out that stage, but I'll figure it out later. Go back to the stage. There's probably multiple things I can do here. some other stage I pointed out, but I can't remember which one. I want to see if there's anything new here, because it's been a while. I don't know how to break that block yet. Still not get up there. I've played so many stages, still can't get up there. Oh, maybe not. But 
done Red Bull? I don't think I've done Red Bull. This is Red Bull down here. I wish it wouldn't just point them out once and then disappear. to be trial and error. I might be able to progress in the swamp because I can now use my head to bash stuff. Out of the swamp. Should we have ravioli or burrito? I'd go the burrito. I feel like ravioli is like more of a messy thing. Burrito, it's handheld, can't go wrong. That's the most brutal. <laughs> what is Wario made out of? He got sliced in two. And then just reforms. Like a Terminator. Ah. Wait. Oh yes, no? This is definitely, this is definitely new. Alright, it's time for golf. Wait, is it? It might not be. It depends if you can get here from the left. Fuck, this, this one looks horrible. Alright. 
too strong. Oh no, this one's what- I just realized what this is, this one's like... It costs 30 coins to do each one. The difficulty's just gone off like... ...by a significant margin. I just, I don't like it because it doesn't give you, it, it's so cruel, it doesn't give you any room for error. And you can't keep trying to get good at the same course, it just gives you a new course every time. That's why I don't like it. I'll fuck off. It'd be fine if I could just keep doing the same course over and over again, but every time I gotta learn a new one. And in some of them you can't make a single mistake. I'm done with this one. Dude, this is brutal. It's worth 30. There's no way I fucked this one up. Oh my god. Okay, come on. Oh, fuck. That sucked. If there was any one I was going to get, it, w it would have been that one. Okay, this doesn't- this doesn't seem too bad. I think this- this is it. I won't get it now. To do a small shot, it's just- that's so unrealistic. I should have looked. Okay. This doesn't seem too bad. Kind of annoying, but it's fine. I'm not gonna get it, am I? No, not now. No point. I wasn't gonna make it. I've def- I've definitely not done this. Okay. Oh. I'm fucked, though. That's it, like, I'm out of shots. After this one, I have to let- It's impossible. I can't get it. <laughs> Such an annoying minigame. Okay. Surely. There we go! Just had to wait for the pity one. At some point it pitied me. It's okay, I'll, I'll take the pity. Alright, now I gotta... gotta... resolve this now. Hey, Messiah. I need more coins desperately now, because that, that was brutal. It was like 30 per attempt. The music in the game sounds annoying. It's a Game Boy game. What do you want from it? I think it's fine for what it is. They didn't exactly have much to work with. Wow. Uh... How am I gonna...
could say just what's considered bad Game Boy music. This is good. Oh, there's the green key. It's just how do I get myself in there? Ah. There we go. Nope. Never mind. also a warrior game, like, the turn of it is supposed to be, I guess, comedic, or... How? There has to be a way in here. This is from below. Hmm. But see, that's just... I did the minigame, so what did the what did the minigame resolve? It had to have resolved something. Otherwise, why did I do it? So quick to give up. Let's see. This had to have opened something. What is this game called? It's Warrior Land 3. Has to be a reason that I did the mini game. GBA, nah, uh, Game Boy Color. It was the last one before they moved to the GBA. This is the thing. Is like, yeah, Game Boy Color. for its, like, rich audio. It did the best job it could. To me, it sounds fine, but if you didn't grow up with, like, the Game Boy Color, or too young to have tried it, then, yeah, it might sound bad. I think it sounds fine. Summer children. How the fuck do I get in there? <laughs> it's bothering me. Like, it's, it's right there. At least this sounds like music, man. I love the Oracle of Seasons and Oracle of Ages. I really do love those games, but some of the dungeon music, I swear, it's just bleeps. It's just screeching. 
Like, you want, you want to talk about bad Game Boy music? Man, there's, there's some shockers out there. There's some where it's just like... Maybe a two second loop, and it's not even music. Some games are just silent. Like, you just had sound effects playing and no, no music whatsoever. The answer is going to be simple, I'm going to hate it. It's going to be like a random... just... One of these. Bound the ass, or oh yes. Hidden block. I don't know. It's not here. Unless it's. Okay, it's not that. Ah, uh, I really don't want to have to look this up, but like, it's bothering me. Also, the fact that it has no connection to the bonus stage at all. There's clearly a lower section as well, but... Unless I don't have the required power-up to do this yet. The game, the game Boy did the best it could, and I think, like, you know, Game Boy games are charming, because it's like, they, despite their limitations, they're pretty, pretty decent in quality, at least the good ones. There's no sand in this version. This is, well, aside from this, but I guess during the daytime, this is all shifting sands. So I might be able to get another chest then. Because this, I, yeah, could not traverse. like it makes a difference though. This is just a silver key. <laughs> I don't know where this is! the key, I just, I don't know how to get it, unless I just straight up don't have the power up for it. Which, there's a possibility. But I've looked, man, like, it's not in this room. to be like a lower path. I can see. There's a fake wall somewhere. Unless the pipe is that- oh! 
All right. <laughs> Got it. Fuck me, right? Okay, well, do you know what? That, that me, well, okay, the golf, golf stage is a nightmare, so let's just... I don't want to have to redo the golf. In fact, I think this is one of the same thing. Oh my god. Yeah, welcome to games from the 1990s and early 2000s. Just keep hitting your head against the brick wall, literally. That's the second crown. Didn't seem to do anything. Uh, now it's, I guess let's see if there's any difference in the day. Love the series. Just, I think this game definitely was designed with those that had played Warrior Land 2 in mind. Like, it's just a harder version of Warrior Land 2, from what I can see. I mean, the day night cycle is pretty cool. But see, in Warrior Land 2, these sort of I guess transformations, whatever you whatever you want to call them, they were usually done in the name of like progression. But in this game, most of them are done in the name of fucking the player over. Like, I have yet to see many examples where it's like, oh, I'm glad this happened to me. Okay, this is still the same. That is progress. That's somewhere I couldn't get to before. Alright. Dude, please. Okay, there we go. If I can just get there in time. Oh, it's just a coin. for real. I, I don't even get rewarded for doing that. There's some other hidden... Okay, it's not from underneath. It's just a coin, who cares. And this is just a silver thing, but I'm just gonna double check there's nothing else here. I think I've gotten all I can get for this stage, yep. Moving on. Uh, I don't think there's anything to do here or here. Let's try Town and Chaos. This one, probably. Because I think I only got one thing from it.
still very surprised that on Nintendo Switch Online they started with this one and not the original two. Top back of things designed to screw you over. There we go. I have to get through that section without getting hit once. Otherwise, yep, the only way through is to go all the way back. Such evil level design. Just immediately there to screw the player over. Okay, I gotta get through this without. Don't you dare! Oh, come on! Stupid bo boomerang head. <sighs> you don't die in this game, you just die on the inside. When you fall down and you have to redo a whole section of platforming. You there. Oh. I even reacted to it. What an icy butthead. What, the enemy or the person that designed this level. That was done a hundred percent on purpose. I feel like a lot of this game is just... <laughs> just this. It's the harder version of Warrior Land 2. There has to be an easier way back up. Do, do I really have to repeat this whole section just because I'd make one mistake? No, okay. Eh, hey, what are you complaining about, eh? You grew up in the 1990s. Stop complaining and finish the baby stage, eh? Yes. Oh, I'm, go I'm going to go crazy before this, this ends. Every time I get hit by that ice bear, like, my, my inner child is just screaming. My ten, ten year old self would not fall victim to that. <laughs> Why did I pick to play this game tonight, honestly? Like, I, I'm tired. You there. 
God. <laughs> I need a minute. I'm gonna have to get through like three. Three of these platforms without taking a hit. back into it. Jump, run. Oh shit, controller ran out of battery! <laughs> Hold on. Please don't hit me. Please don't hit me. Okay, okay. It's fine. Everything's okay. I think I have to get hit now. Okay. Oh. Oh no. It's a sports game. Stop this dickhead turtle from cock blocking me. Alright, that's the answer. Oh, I don't I don't like this one bit already. The basketball one and two was bad enough. I could be down a point. At least it's still. This turtle just does not. St uh oh. Where the fuck was the block, numb nuts? <laughs> not gonna block. Oh, for me, blocks every shot. Dude. This is, this is not enough time to, like, get it in position. It's just not enough time, like, it, it's not down for long enough of a time. Okay, I'm gonna try a strategy here. supposed to get it in with this dickhead the problem is like when the rabbit is a ball I can't get over it easily to stop the turtle from cock blocking me <laughs> this is cursed I hate this no that there has to be a strategy to this come on it, it cannot be this difficult. Why is it 
this insanely hard. Like, I, I can't jump, I can't jump over it. I haven't been able to jump over it without touching it. Like, I always hit it at some point. and then do that. Why is it that the, the sports that I have to play in this game are just suffering, like golf and this? Oh crap, alright, just let that happen, it's fine. Uh oh. No touchy, no touchy! I don't know how I got that in the first time. Okay, that's alright. It's only one game. There we go. Oh. I almost had a connection, but it's fine. What is this? What are you doing? I don't even have the key! I don't... I don't even have the key! <laughs> I don't even have the key! What colour? It's red. Alright, where's the red key? I know where the red key is. Okay, I know where it is. I have to repeat this process again, unfortunately. You wanted to just finish the stage? Go oh, fuck yourself. to go through the door. Okay, well.
it's just down here. This has just been one ordeal after the other. Side of the stage. I did better when my controller disconnected. That's a, that's a sad reality. Please say that it saved the progress and I don't have to do that again. I swear if I have to do this again. <laughs> okay. What is it this time? Snow globe? Or like a music box? I don't know. It's hard to tell. Yeah, a music box thing. What's he going to do with that? Somehow created a bridge. Sure. Wait, how do I get the down? Okay, these are two new stages. As long as there's no golf involved for a while, I'll, I'll be able to recover. Strangely straightforward. I don't trust it. What? Really? Oh. Okay, there's the gotcha. No, but even still. Oh. Nope, okay. Alright. I got it. If 
I get hit, it sends me up, and then I have to repeat everything. There we go. That was... That was really straightforward, <laughs> compared to the last 20 minutes. Alright, I'll take it. Let's see what else the stage has to offer. Uh, I've seen these around. It doesn't look like there's anything else by the looks of it. This, yeah, doesn't look like I can do much else here. Shell is this? I see a. <laughs> I see a bunch of things that are just probably designed to hinder me completely. Okay. Hmm. Silver chest is pretty straightforward to get, so. This is probably the end already. Probably some other ability I don't have, like a supercharge. I would probably guess that would be it. I don't think that's gonna let me get across. a button and just it yeets me off the edge both times I didn't okay both times I didn't press a button one sent me off the left edge the other one sent me off the right edge warrior please just take the spring thank you Okay, now, do I have to go in a room now? Yeah, no go. Okay, I'm in the middle this time. I'm just gonna have to try and go across that gap. I'm going over the gap. 
this time. It just, there's no way, it just doesn't seem like it's gonna get me across it. No, it doesn't work. It's the last direction input. So if I press left, he's gonna go left. Oh! oh yes! Alright. There we go. There we go. There we go. <laughs> oh my god, it's just a coin. <laughs> it's not even the end of the stage. Wait, so what am I- Hmm. to run with my pants on fire throughout this whole course. Is that even feasible? Spellbook. I think I can use it already. Wow. Not what I was expecting. <laughs> Splits the earth. Okay, so now we got the steep canyon. destructible. You just have to assume that everything is destructible in this game. Dead end? No such thing. Crap. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> Guess I'm going all the way back to the start. Okay, let's see. Gate, isn't it? Oh no. Do I don't even need to. Can I just. What is that thing?
Jump over. Ah, oh, crap. Under control. <laughs> now, that's a... That's a myth. Yeah, I was gonna say, is that gonna give me a power-up? This is throw now. I can throw shit. I think. Just restoring a capability that was there in the original game. <laughs> I think that's- we're back to Warrior Land 2 status. Aha! Yeah, there we go. <sighs> it's gonna make hidden walls, anyway. Um, on the tidal coast. And... Frigid Sea. Golf is gonna be easier? I don't think it will. <laughs> it's not gonna affect it. It's a mini game, it's the same thing either way. What it will let me do though is. good, but <laughs> can I even get up there? Doesn't exactly solve the problem, does it? I swear Warrior could jump higher than this, but like, we have two problems here. <laughs> this first stage is just something I'm not going to be able to resolve until the very end, it would seem. What about here? Yeah, okay, whatever. I tried. to the bridge is one of the stages. I think. to be a reason I can pick this up. I have to get it across this bridge now. Right? This bridge sucks. 
these fish be stronger than Wario? I wasn't ready. I'm just assuming I need this. Had to say golf. Oh, I guess I'm doing golf. No, I need that coin. Don't go anywhere. Okay, how much per hit? Ugh, it's 30. Ugh, alright. <laughs> Good. Well, is that about golf being easier? Medium shot, come on. <laughs> oh, I, I have to get this, come on. Oh, what do you mean? This is fucked, I can't get this. It's too difficult to get like a, a weak shot. Look at that, like how the timing. <laughs> I hate this game. Alright. This one looks better. That's fine. Good. That wasn't that bad. I don't have a key, though. I bet the key's hidden here. Or not. Okay. Looks like green doors always associated with the uh the mini game. All right, now I just gotta find green key. Hard work's done. That right, is green key. Probably down there somewhere. I'm hoping it's just here. Oh! <laughs> I got, I got every block except the one block I needed to get up there. Straight forward.
weird egg-shaped Game Boy. Alright, uh, it wanted me to go here, right? Frigid C. Oh, yeah, no, 100%. But I can't pick these bears up, I don't think. Alright, so there's something else I have to pick up somewhere. Tiny enemy, or it's tiny enemy. Oh, no, never mind, it's this. <laughs> I thought I'd murdered that one. I swear that one died. Alright, I have to make sure it goes down this time. There we go. Just crushed under the weight of Wario's booty. When you stand still, there's like a look of disappointment on Wario's face. That's just my face. When something like that happens. It's perfect. I don't, yeah, I don't think that's good enough. Alright, go again. like bells. <laughs> I don't know how I had the patience for these games as a kid, honestly. See that episode of The Simpsons where, like, Sideshow Bob tries to murder Bart and he attaches himself to the bottom of their car and then when he gets out of the car he just keeps stepping on some rakes over and over again? I feel like that's just me sometimes when I play these games. I'm just stepping on a rake over and over again. I shrug it off and then I step on the rake again. And I just don't learn my lesson. Reference is, is from the 90s, so it fits in with this game. And some viewers will be like, never seen The Simpsons. Tell me about the SpongeBob Sp SpongeBob episode. That relates to me. Oh. <laughs> 
Ah! <laughs> the eyes! Oh, why is that allowed? I'm not an idiot. Just stupid ice physics. I'm an Australian, okay? We don't have ice in Australia. I I'm not well equipped for this. It's not over. Snowball? Question mark? Oh, I see. Oh, yes! Slotio is a snowman! <laughs> what? It wasn't big enough? I have to go from up high. What? Do I have to... Do I have to chain it, don't I? It's like a momentum thing. I can't... Oh, okay. Fuck me. <laughs> Hidden wall down the right-hand side. Why didn't I... I think of that. I don't know why I didn't see that immediately. how you roll. I would have been shocked if like a teapot unlocked something somehow. Okay, I can progress in this one now. Let's see. Because now I have... Okay, I don't have a way to do whatever is required here. But maybe I can... Maybe? Just coin. Hmm, apparently not. Not capable of setting off explosives yet. This is blue key though, there's still two other keys to get.
Wait. Can I actually do anything? I don't think I can. There's nothing else to do. I can't go in the store. Oh. Guess I'm wrong. What stage was it pointing out? Maybe here? I kind of wish it pointed out the stages a bit more instead of just blinking it and then it's like, remember, this is what I blinked. One thing I was disappointed at. I talked about like how we rented Mario's time machine and that was like the biggest disappointment I had as a kid in terms of renting games. Do you want to know what the second biggest disappointment was now that I just, I, it kind of just came to mind. But because, yeah, I played Warrior Land 1 and Warrior Land 2 on Game Boy. One day went to rent a game, and uh, they had Warriors Woods. So me, I'm thinking, oh, this is a Warrior game. This is a Super Nintendo Warrior game. Awesome. <laughs> it's a it's a puzzle game that barely involves Warrior. So I was very very disappointed in that shit. I mean, it's a fine game. But it's not what I wanted. Like, I, I wanted this, but in 16-bit, you know? Refund wall. It's like stiff shit. <laughs> it was a rental. It wasn't like we bought the game, but... I feel like there's just so many games that would trick you from a name or a box art perspective to make you believe they were more than what they were. They had to sell you a box art, pretty much. It's like they'd have these intricate box arts and then the game itself would be nowhere near what the box art was trying to represent. Rental's always a mixed bag. Mario's Time Machine by far was the worst rental. Just the sheer disappointment. You would just not believe. I don't think I could even attempt to play the game as an adult, even though I could probably get through it because, I don't know, I can actually answer the questions. <laughs> I may not know my American history, but we have a resource to answer the questions. I know it involves the British in a tea party, but I don't know why you guys would want to have tea with the British. Chat, that was a joke. That was a very bad joke, I know. I'm aware that the tea party was not a literal tea party.
British people, yeah. Well. Just know that, you know, Americans might try to distance themselves as much as possible, but they were founded by the British. Ultimately. Just for a coin? I thought that was another door. What do I do with this frog then? I think I have to feed the frog chat. some rentals that I was definitely in denial about like how bad they were and it was just a case of well we rented it gotta make the most out of it but there was one game we rented which is rated one of the worst Super Nintendo games of all time and I'll stand by that the game is janky and sure it, it's bad but I don't think it's, it deserves that title Probably it gets given that title because compared to what it was supposed to be, it's like nowhere near. It's, it's such an inferior product in that regard. But, yeah, I don't know. Could just be denial. Just wanting it to be a good game because we rented it. I'm talking about uh, Space Ace for the Super Nintendo, because Space Ace... The real game, the one that was like at arcades and stuff, it was one of the, like, kind of like Dragon's Lair. In the same realm with that, same animator. You kind of just do an action before it happens. It's like... You just do it by learning. Just, uh, the patterns on the screen. I don't see any other exit here. But the Super Nintendo port was just so, so damn horrendous. Like, it does not play like it's supposed to. So instead, they, they made it like an action platformer, and, uh... Man. Like, okay. Look at how big Warrior is relative to the screen space. The character in Space Ace is... It's just insane how gigantic it is. It, it just gets hit by everything. And it's just one of these things where if you get hit once, you die, so you, it's just... It's trying to mimic what you do in the real game, where you get you get need to get through the section, and you need to do platforming. It would have worked fine if the platforming wasn't so bad. But uh, yeah. Well, you know, there was initial disappointment in the game because it's like if you've ever played it, you will die in the first five seconds of that game without fail. Like, I'm- um, without- unless you know what's coming, you will die in the first five seconds of that game. I don't think I can do anything here, I think. I think the frog and this are connected, but for the life of me, I don't think I can do anything yet. It just has this dumb look on its face. Alright. Just going around to stages that I haven't been to in a while. <laughs> I should 
play that game again one day. Like, the actual one and then the Super Nintendo one. Now that I think about it, the same thing happened for Yoshi's Cookie. I think there was another game where I was like, oh, this is like a game about Yoshi, like Yoshi's Island. <laughs> Incorrect. I'm just getting fooled by these puzzle games. Kirby. Puzzle games are even more just ambiguous with their name. Can I... I don't know if I can... Can't do a mirror dash. Oh wait, I think I've done this. This rings a bell. zombies don't eat each other. I don't know, maybe the meat on the zombie is worse? Maybe it's like, just, they consider themselves different species and it would be cannibalism? Damn it. Have I played the Talos Principle? I have not. I've heard of it, but I'm not sure what it is. The name's popped up a few times. If you've ever, if you've ever watched JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, there's a conversation um, that the characters have about meat. And one of the characters has a theory that the best meat comes from animals that are herbivores. If you look at the animals that we eat, the ones that have the best meat are the herbivores, and so he deduces that because humans eat meat and are carnivores, that their meat would not taste- the meat- the human meat would not taste well. good. That's the logic. But, yeah, that's the hypothetical he brings up is like, he would never want to try human meat because he can't imagine it would be good, just based on that theory. Like, the meats that we eat come from primarily herbivores. <laughs> so, <laughs> vegans are tasty. I mean, yeah, if you're gonna resort to cannibalism, I guess just eat a vegan. That's... that's it. I bet I, I bet even in that situation, like... You're, like, you're on an island and cannibalism is going to be... a thing. Like, you're just stuck there. I think... Even though the writing's on the wall, and this sort of conversation has been had about which human meat would be the best, the vegan would still put their hand up and say, Why, well, yes, I'm a vegan. I'm sorry. Ugh, <laughs> uh, man. I told you guys about my vegan joke, right? I got nothing against vegans, it's just the ones that are more vocal about you eating meat and that you're a horrible person for eating meat. That's where I take issue. If you want to be a vegan, that's fine. Power to you. 
as long as you're not like trying to make yourself better than others. But anyway, my joke about vegans is like a running joke with um with a friend that every time I see them, I just wait until enough time passes. And the joke format is is like this. It's, I'll I'll tell a story. Like something happening, more or less. So the first time I did it, it was talking about how we went to a restaurant and um some dude started choking on his steak because he ate it too quickly. And the wife, in a panic, just got out of her chair and was like, Oh my god, oh my god, my husband is choking! There's someone, a doctor, please! And then this person stood up and said, Yes, I'm a vegan. So that's the punchline every time, is like, just some sort of emergency or unreal situation. And the punchline is, the vegan will stand up and say, Yes, I'm a vegan. I'm announcing that I'm a vegan. they're the ones to bring it up first, typically. Get it? You get it? It's funny! Ha ha ha! Okay, but I don't see any extra doors in here. Would a vegan eating a person still be vegan? No. See the episode of The Simpsons where, like, the kids get stranded on the island, and Lisa sees the pig um, eating slime, and she's like, "Look, the pig survives off slime." And then the kids eat the pig, and she's just stuck with her slime rock. That's more or less the situation. Slime rock. What about a vegan eating a vegan? You know, you know that. Just because they're a vegan, it's not like a you are what you eat kind of scenario, right? It's like, just because you don't eat meat doesn't mean that makes you a vegetable. Like, you're still made out of meat. Yeah, but no animals were harmed. Yeah, I mean, I, I guess that's the thing, it, it depends on their code of ethics, is like, is it just relating to animals and humans because they're not animals it'll be fine, or is it like a case of meat, just meat in general? Because I think it could be either. I don't know, like... In a life and death situation, if there was like, say, a source of meat, but not really a source of vegetables, would they cave? What stage haven't I gone to? There's a simple answer to this. The answer's gotta be simple. I think it's down here. Yep. There we go. That's the one.
the most insane... ...like, vegan joke I told was just that they had to evacuate a building because there was a threat. And then the threat being real. <laughs> and then... I think you know where it's going, just like the punchline, of course, being we need a specialist, and then it's, uh, yes, I'm a vegan. I just wait until enough time has passed where the story won't sound suspicious, like it's... It'll be, oh, no, this is believable. This sounds like a real story. is too big. Alright, there we go. Oh, I need the key. I don't have the key. Hey, Colrin, how's it going? How's the, uh, the water park thingy? I don't have the key, do I, chat? I don't have the key. Alright, well, the hard work's done. I just have to find the key. But yeah, I only really do this joke with, um, with friends. I don't do it to random people, just so you guys know. <laughs> I'm not a dick. Chest and then we're all good. Treasure is it this time? Ugh. What is that? Is that boots? <laughs> I can't tell what that is. Oh, yes, it's a foot. Oh, okay. Yeah, of course there's a quake. <laughs> okay. Well, I think I think it's pretty obvious where I need to go. So that's good. Okay. This is where I'm gonna leave Warrior Land for today, chat. It's like, been about three hours. I think that's good. I don't want to do it all in one sitting, but, yeah. Hope you enjoyed, uh, 
I think I think I did all right. Uh, not too many stages aside from that dumb sports stage, but uh, I did okay. <laughs> that was the only one. Ah, oh, that golf game is going to be the end of me. It's getting harder and harder. <sighs> All right. Uh, yeah. If you're watching later on YouTube, thanks for clicking and sticking around till the end. And if you want to support the channel and stuff, button algorithm, button clicking stuff, whatever I say these days. Uh, thanks to those that have done it. And uh, yeah, I'll see you next time.